So in this chapter, we will learn to, to manage lists. So lists are the more important component in Android. First of all, because it is useful for displaying contacts uh, and many things we want to display uh, in a concise manner. For instance, pictures are displayed through lists, um, social networks are displayed through lists and so on. Okay, so it's a ready to use component and we will learn how to manage it to have dedicated view for each rows of the cell, of the, the list. Okay, so it's a list, so we have model view controller of a scheme. First of all, the, the view will be the list to display. Then the model will be a set of class or a database we want to use. And the controller will be the activity that will manage the interaction between the UI and the, the model. So we have a lot of components to manage lists. The first one I want to present here is list activity. List activity is a, uh, an activity that embeds a list. So all the methods are provided to use transparently lists. So for instance, you don't need to define a layout for each cell. They are already provided layout. You, we don't need to define our own list of view. It's already embedded in the activity, and so on. So there are two uh, methods we have to understand when we are using such lists. The first one is notify data sets change, which specifies that the list, the model, has changed. So we have to refresh the list in order to update the view uh, for the user. And the second one is I want to invalidate the data and the method is notify data set invalidated. Okay, so when we have done this, this method will call the adapter and the goal of the adapter is to make the link between the view and the model. Basically, it's the controller. Okay, so this adapter use a data set observer in order to propagate modifications. And we only have to implement Android widget adapter in order to build our own adapter. So let's have a small example. The first example I want to, to show is array adapter. So this adapter supports that your list is organized through an array. So here we can see that we have defined an array of string with some of some movies, okay? And now we want to build this list of the, these different movies, okay? How we can do that? We have an activity that inherits from list activity, and during the onCreate method, we only fix the new adapter to be the the string the array adapter of string we defined earlier. So, in other words, my list activity handle an adapter. This adapter has to be inherited from adapter. Here we use an array adapter. Okay? This array adapter will only take values inside of an array and display it as it in the list. Okay, so we can see that our adapter is instantiated and we give the context this. I'm the activity on the top of the back stack, so I'm the current context where I can display. And two more, two more parameters. The first parameter is the layout of the cell. Here we can see that it's a layout already provided by Android, which is simple list item one. So it's only a text view. The second parameter is values, which is the set of values I defined earlier. Once this is done, I just have to set the list adapter with the new adapter, and this is it. So this is for defining a uh, a list, a simple list, and when we have a list, we already we often want to be responsive 
on click. So how to do that? We just have to override small method. The first one is unlist item click. And we can do something inside, launch an activity, display a toast, or something like that. And we also can detect long click. Once more, we just have to grab the list through the method get list view. Then we fix the add as the onClick listener, the long click listener, through the method set on item long click listener. And then we can define our new adapter and override on item long click. So we can see that uh, this on item long click return a Boolean. This Boolean indicates whether we should continue to propagate this information because we, because we can have multiple layers of um, uh, observer for a long click and we may want to propagate the change or not. So now that we have seen how to build a simple list, we may want to build slightly more complex list. For instance, this list have for each row two fields. First name, name. Okay, so now we have to define a GUI for each cell. And this is not only what we have to do, we also have to define our own adapter in order to reflect this change over the list because the array adapter will not be able to know the first element will be the name and the second element will be the first name. Okay? So to do that, we have to use a simple adapter. So a simple adapter is the simplest way to build an UI for each cell. The, to, to work, this adapter have to use list of associative container. So what does it mean? It means that you have to order your data as a list of associative container. So each container will be one cell of your list. So for instance, here I have two containers. The first container have first name and name, and the second container have first name and name. Okay, so now we have to fix what we put inside of the container. The key will be the key we will use inside of the adapter in order to make the link between the view and the model, and the value will be the value that will be displayed. Okay? So, how we can do that? First of all, we define a GUI. Here, it's a simple GUI. We can see that it's a linear layout with only two text view. The first one is the first name. The second one is the name. And we can observe that we have associated the same weight for each of the elements. OK? So once we have done that, we can build the adapter. So first of all, we can see at the top of this code that, the, that there is a declaration, two declarations. The first one is the simple adapter, which will handle the link between the model and the view. The second one is the array list of container. OK? This is our data. Now we can do two things. The first one is to populate the list. So. First of all, we just have a small loop to prepare data and to populate our data. So here we just call the additem method. And if we look to the additem method at the bottom of this slide, we can observe that we only define a container. Then we put inside of this container name and some name and first name and some first name. OK? And then we return that. So now we have prepared data, we can just build a new adapter. So we just instantiate the new adapter by new simple adapter. First parameter is the context. 
So I'm the activity on the top of the back stack, so I can do some display, so this, then the data, which is the data I just prepared, then the layout, which is a layout I already defined, and then this is the interesting part of our application. Here, these two lines bind fields of our data with GUI. So we can say in the first line that we will manipulate some identifier, name and first name, and for each of these identifier, we will provide on the link below the view we want to use. Here we can see that the first field will be name and it refers the text view name. The second text field first name will be targeted through first name. Okay? So once we have done that, we can just run the method set list adapter for the new adapter. So this is quite simple and the association between data and view is only due by two string, two arrays, the first one which gives some IDs and the second one which gives some um, views. Okay, so now we may want to use more complex lists. For instance, we may want to have a list where the first element displays only in a text view, then the second element will handle an image view, then the third element, and so on, and so on, and so on. So we, want to, we may want to have dedicated view for each rows. So to do, so, to do that, we have to refine the, option, the method getView. So basically, what will happen? We will display some views and then we scroll. During the scroll, the first view is going outside of the screen. So this view will go to a pool of views and we now need a view and we take a view from this pool of views and we can reuse it. So the get view method will allow to refine each of the view in the pool. So it's very important to recycle views because otherwise you will instantiate a lot of views and you will flood your RAM. So you need to recycle views in order to have an efficient application. So, let's define a more complex uh, list. First of all, we will define a small uh, GUI, which is an image view and a text view. Okay. Now that we have defined that, we can overload the array adapter. So go back to the array adapter, which is uh, the simplest one to do that. And we can define many things. The first one, is to define images. Okay, I suppose that I have inside of my project few images which are defined through air drawable one, two, and three. Okay, so this is what I will use to populate my list. Then I refine the method getView. This method first grab the layout inflator in order to be able to build some new view, then we grab the label and the image in text view and image view, and then we want to know what is the current position of the cell I want to display. According to this position, I can whether use a view that have been provided to me, so recycle a view. So if convert view is null, it means that I, don't, I cannot recycle some view, so I have to create a new one. Otherwise, I can just reuse my view. And this is it. 
So when I've done that, I just have to set up the adapter. I can do that by defining an array adapter with one, two, three, and then I can build my, new ad my adapter by new adapter and set list adapter to my adapter, which is not uh, adapter, but A. So now you can use your list. And this is the same if you want to have dedicated cells for each uh, element of your list. So when we have a list, we may want to have a header for our list. OK, and we may want to display a particular view at the header or at the footer of our list. So to do that, we just grab the layout inflator and then we can inflate our view, supposing that our view is in r.layout.header and that we can add header to our view. OK, so to sum up, uh, we now know how to build a list and how to have dedicated cells for each element of the list. We know that there are a lot of uh, adapters. The first one is array adapter, which is the simplest. Simple adapter is also simple. But these two adapters are not very useful when you want to deal with database. So there are cursor adapter if you want to do use database. And you can define your own adapter if you want to have specific um, needs. So all of these adapters work exactly the same. You just have to refine the, the method getView if you want to have a dedicated view. So this is it.